Hi everyone, it's Nikita here. I've got Sadie with me again and we thought we'd follow on from our nappy video with a review of the Ubi Nappy Pail. We were given this nappy bin as a baby shower present but you can purchase it from Baby Bunting or different stores online and it retails for about $100. So it's definitely not a budget item but it is a fantastic product. This is nappy pail is different to a standard nappy bin because it's made of metal as opposed to plastic. And the claim of that is that the smell from the nappies doesn't leach out into the plastic and make your room smell. It's all contained in the metal casing, as well as a rubber seal around the lid, which I will show you when we have a close up look of the nappy bin. Let's have a look, close up look at how the, the bin works, how the lock function works, and how you go putting the plastic bags in and out, so you can see just how easy it is to use. So this is the top view of the Ubi nappy pail. It has a slide opening. I thought that this might be a little bit small, but it definitely fits a well-soiled nappy through there. Slides closed. It does have a safety feature, so you just twist this knob and it locks the slide closed so that no little fingers can get in, and you just twist it and it easily opens again. We haven't had too many older children around that have been able to play with it, but we haven't found it's an issue locking the nappy bin. To access the main part of the nappy bin, it pulls up and has a bag holder in there and then obviously the large size of the bin. To use it with disposable nappies or as a general rubbish bin, this is the, the bag, the Ubi brand disposable bag, but you can use any bag. Stick it in, feed it through, pop it down, as it closes, this ring will seal the bag in place, ready when you open the hatch. To take it out when it's full, open up the holder, take your nappy bag out. Just for demonstration purposes, you could use your cold shopping bag. Only trouble with this bag is you're not going to hold as many nappies as you would with the with the larger bag. To use the Ubi nappy bin as a cloth nappy bin, you would use a wet bag, so a bag that is lined with a waterproof lining so that your nappies are not going to leak. Pop the bag inside, feed it through the ring. The Ubi brand does make their own wet bag. This is a Kanga Care wet bag. You can use any different type. Push it down and you're ready to go. When you need to take your nappy bag out, same as the plastic ones. There you go. So as you can see, you could use any plastic bag in the bin or the wet bag. It does come with its own Ubi branded wet bag, but I've obviously used a different brand just to show you the color contrast a bit better. But it is also a really great sized bin. We find that we don't have to change it every day, but every couple of days, especially when the nappies are starting to smell when you open it up, then you might want to change it. But when that lid is closed and it's just sitting in the room, you definitely can't smell anything from the bin, which is a huge plus. This nappy bin, you can get in lots of different colors. The metal, you can get all different colors. You can get it in a chevron print, you can get it basically to match your nursery, which is nice as well. But it's so small that it doesn't make a feature out of it being in your nursery, it just kind of blends in. So hopefully this has given you a little bit more information and maybe helps making your decision to buy a $100 nappy bin a little bit easier. It's definitely not a necessity, but it is a nice item if you decide to purchase it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from Sadie and myself. And we hope to see you all again soon. See you later.